Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on board. Uh, we are in the cruise leg right now and cruising at flight level 290. Now the point to note is I said flight level 290 and not 29,000 feet. Are they both different? Let's go through it quickly. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, the atmospheric pressure decreases with height and this reducing pressure is what an ultimated vex and presents to us in a readable unit, generally in tens, hundreds and thousands of feet. But the atmospheric pressure won't be the same throughout the world. It changes a day, night, with elevation, temperature, density, humidity, etc. So we needed a datum to follow. And hence, the International Civil Aviation Organization came up with their own International Standard Atmosphere or the ISA that forms the base with which we compare the real atmospheric conditions at any place, any time. And this is what the ISA says. Now the point to know is that a lot of parameters here, but the important ones are these. The mean sea level temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. The atmospheric pressure is 1013.25 hectopascals or 29092 inches of mercury. And then the temperature falls to degrees per thousand feet and density is 1 to 2, 5 grams per meter cube and so on and so forth. Now back in the World War II days where Morse codes were used over radios, there were ways of asking for things like heading, bearing, ultimate settings, which are called the three-letter Q code. And instead of sending off the entire stream of sentence in dits and das, we will still use the Q codes here in the real life and uh, especially some of the ultimate settings that you must have heard of like the QNH and the QNE. Now the Q has no real meaning these days, but they like to associate it with question, query, request. So let's talk about it today. Now the aircrafts around need to fly with a similar ultimate setting to maintain separation and avoid mid-air collision, which is why when in cruise, and when I say cruise, I mean not climbing or descending, all the airplanes fly using the ultimate setting QNE. And QNE means QN root. And for that, we use the ISA parameter, that is 1013.25 hectopascals, which is used worldwide. Uh, but places like uh, US and all, they use 2992 inches of mercury. But this setting won't give you the exact field elevation of the intended landing and departing airport. For that, we need QNH, which is Q nautical height, which is again, it's a local area ultimate setting, which when set gives you the elevation of the airport above mean sea level. Like for example, Mumbai's elevation is 40 feet. So if you set the QNH of Mumbai and when you're on ground, your ultimate is going to be reading 40 feet. Delhi's elevation is 778 feet. Bangalore's elevation is 3002 feet. So when on land, the ultimate reads the respective elevation of the airport. There's one more setting called the QFE, the Q field elevation. Now this, this is something that we don't use. I mean, as in pilots, we don't use. It's more for the meteorological department. But uh, if you say QFE on ground, no matter which airport you are, your ultimate is going to be reading zero. So now the question is, when do we change from local setting to standard setting? For that, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.